right there, we're gonna get right into our seated upper body workout. I'm gonna be using two pound dumbbells today and um, I would recommend anything between one and three. You can even try something like five and then when things get too tired, you can um, bring it down to a lower weight. All right, first thing I want you to do is grab your dumbbells, palms up, elbows into the body, and we're gonna do thumbs out. This is just getting us a little bit warmed up. I promise you think this is easy right now, <laughs> but it will start to burn. Good, just a few more here. Let's do five, four. You really want to squeeze the shoulder blades in the back when you pull back. And last one, stay right here. We're going to go out and back in. So I'm going to push out to a V and pull it in. Out and pull it in. When you pull in, you can see that my elbows are trying to touch each other in the back of my body. Out and in. And really try and pull and squeeze. Out, pull and squeeze. Good. Pull. Starting to feel it? I feel it. Pull. Good. So five more. Really keep your muscles engaged the entire time. Good. Now I want you to bring your dumbbells up to your face, elbows close, and we're going to do open, shut, open, shut, good. open, shut. So again, we're going to be squeezing the shoulder blades and then really try to touch the elbows as much as you can. Ooh, I feel the shoulder burn <laughs> already. You think those light dumbbells aren't going to do much, but they do. Try not to let your elbows drop. Keep them up. Okay, last three, two, and one, good. So relax your arms. We're gonna do that all over again. This time we are going to do 20 of each if you are counting on your own. The last time I was just doing uh, that in a specific amount of time. So here are our palms up. We're gonna do a thumbs out. And we're squeezing that shoulder blade. Really keeping your elbows close to your body. Make the back work. Yes, you're gonna feel it in your shoulders, but you wanna make your back work. Make sure you're sitting up tall, hopefully at the edge of a chair. And if you need back support, put a bunch of pillows behind you. Good. I may have lost count, but you can count to 20. Good, keep those elbows in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. All right, here we go. We're going to go out and pull. Out and pull. Out. Pull. Good. Here's five. Pull. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 12. You should always keep those dumbbells in your peripheral vision. Okay. 16. 17. Squeeze. 18. Squeeze. 
squeeze. 19. Good. Ready now. Ready. Open and shut. Getting ready here. Remember those elbows. Try and touch them. Open. Shut. Good. You're squeezing both directions. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Good. Ooh, feel those shoulder burn. <laughs> 10, we got 10 more. Remember, 11. Ooh, 12. Squeeze. 13. 14. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Woo! Bring them down nice and slow and control. Shake, roll those shoulders out. That was tough. All right, we're going to do something a little bit different now. Something called wood chops. And we're going to incorporate a little bit more of the core. Although just holding yourself up the way I am um, on my sit bones without any back support, you should be activating your core. But what we're going to do is hold the dumbbells together, push them together. We're going to start from one corner to down to the other corner. Okay, we're just going to repeat that up and down. Try not to twist your body. You want to keep your body forward and just your arms are going diagonally. Now your shoulders should be tired from what we just did, so you should be feeling that. But you should also be resisting in the core, in your abdominal muscles. Your whole body should really be working to do this move. A couple more here, I'm gonna switch sides. Last one. Good, now we're gonna start up to the other corner and down and down. I want you to think about push and pull with what each arm is doing. Okay, so my upper arm here is pulling up and my lower arm is pulling down, but each arm gets to push and pull. Push, pull, good. Keeping that center in your body, you're just moving your arms diagonally. a few more here. Three, two, and one. Good, relax. Next, we're going to get into a little bit more of a compound movement. We're going to start with our dumbbells to our sides. You're going to do a bicep curl, then you're going to flip the direction of the dumbbells and push straight up and down. Rotate, and back down to a bicep curl, okay? So this is a compound movement because we're doing two. I'm gonna scoop back just a little bit so you can see the whole move. Okay, so let's start. Dumbbells down, bicep curl. Rotate, shoulder press, down. Rotate, down. Bicep curl, rotate, shoulder press, down. Rotate, down, good. So you can get that movement to be a little bit more fluid instead of stopping at each place. Nice and fluid. Bicep curl, rotate, press, down, rotate, down. Bicep curl, rotate, press, and down. Good. Remember to keep yourself tall. There should be a slight arch in the back just to keep your spine neutral at all times. Nice, I still feel my shoulders from that first warm-up set that we did, which is awesome because now we're just getting bonus. This is one of my favorite moves. I don't know why, I just like it. I feel powerful. I feel like I'm working a lot of different muscles here. And when you do that bicep curl, your elbows should stay in the same place. Right 
to your side. Press. I'm going to do a few more of these because they're my favorite. I hope you feel them. But it's kind of nice because you get a break. When you're doing the shoulder press, you get a break from the bicep curls and vice versa. Good, just about three more here. And two. Good, last one. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn my chair so that you can see what we're going to do next. Um, we're going to do a bent over fly. Actually, I'll be a little bit diagonal here. So I want you to bend over as much as you can and a fly motion is keeping your elbows bent slightly and you're going to raise your arms up. So from the front it's going to look like this but I'm going to do it bent over so that I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. Okay, so I'm bent over here like this and I'm going to squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Try to keep dumbbells in your peripheral vision and I don't want straight straight arms. Okay, bent elbows. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Squeeze and down. Squeeze. When you come up with the dumbbells, a lot of people like to bring their body up like this. This is not the move. You want to keep your body down. Just the arms are working. This is what's working the back, upper back, and just around the shoulder, which helps us fix our posture if we have a tendency to slouch or walk with our head down or in a little bit of a slumped position when we sit. So right now we're fighting that by doing this move. Let's do three more. Three. Two, and one. Very good. The next one is we're going to do a chest press. And I'm going to keep my chair sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm moving my sit bones to the edge of the chair so that I can actually lean back into the chair. And I'm not slouching. I'm trying to keep a very flat, straight body from my shoulders to my knees. And I'm going to hold the dumbbells out, and when I press, I'm pressing over the nipple line. That's where I want my dumbbells to be. Up and down. Up, down. Good. If you feel any strain in the neck, you can grab like a pillow, or maybe you have a chair where you can rest your head on the back of the chair. But you definitely want to make your neck comfortable. So I really want you to focus on pushing and pulling again. Push and pull down. Push and pull down. Don't just let gravity pull those dumbbells back down. I want your muscles to be active the entire time. Push, pull. Good. Making sure that your body isn't drooping into that chair. Keeping that straight line. From head to the knees. Okay, let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. And then we're going to do one more thing bent over because it's really important. We do this kind of thing all day, so we want to make sure that we're working our back to pull us back into good posture and some muscles that we don't usually use when we're just typing or driving or writing or sitting and reading or cooking. We do everything forward. So we're going to do a bent over row. So we're going to bend over as much as we can. This time our arms are going to come straight back. So our elbows are going to stay alongside the side of our body and you're going to pull the dumbbells back and down. So really bend over and pull the dumbbells, squeezing the back. So definitely want to pause a little bit. Right, it's nice, slow and controlled. And we 
squeeze and pause at the top. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Nice. You really want to feel this so you know it's working. And remember, don't just let gravity drop you down. Squeeze and control down. Squeeze and control. Good. Squeeze. Now after this, we only have two more exercises. And we're actually gonna go through them all again with not much pause between. If you need a break, that is okay. Just pause for two reps, or three reps, whatever you need, and then continue with me. Let's do five more. Five, four. One thing I didn't talk about here is when you're bending over, you're hinging at the hip, and I'll show you what I mean. So when we bend, we hinge at the hip, we don't round the back. We're not doing this. So we're thinking there's a string attached to our chest and it's pulling us forward and down. And that's how we get into position. Okay? So I'm gonna move my chair back forward. I'm gonna do two more things. A shoulder lateral raise. So dumbbells are to your side and you're going to keep your elbows bent and you're going to come straight out to the side and down straight out and down and in the video it might look like my arms are straight but i actually have a slight bend in my elbows this is also one of my favorite moves i think i really like working my shoulders <laughs> Good. you see how i'm pausing at the top because that's where the work is and remember that gravity does not pull the dumbbells down. You control them down. Pull up and down. Up and down. Good. Want this to burn. Burning is a good thing. It means we're changing. It means we're adapting. It means we're gonna do better next time maybe for one or two weeks you use one pound dumbbells then the next week you're able to do the whole routine with two pound dumbbells whatever that means to you whatever your progress is then let's do five more five and four three two and one very nice Last move is a tricep overhead extension. We're gonna place our dumbbells together to make one. And I'm just gonna turn so you can see the move. Our arms are gonna go straight up. And we want our elbows to be facing forward as much as possible. And they don't move. Your elbows stay in position while the dumbbells go back and straight up. Back, straight, up, straight up. Good, so you should really be feeling this. Keep going, but you should be feeling it right here in the tricep. Keep those elbows, don't fly the elbows out, it's not this. Okay, elbows are in. You should see your elbows in your peripheral vision. Straight from the front. Try and keep those elbows steady, steady. Biceps are a tiny little muscle. They get tired pretty quickly. Let's do five, four, keep those elbows in, three, two, and one. Very good. If you want to stop here, that's 20 minutes. If you want to do just a few more minutes with me, we're going to go through all of those exercises again, starting with the wood chops. And so here we go. Ready? One, wood chop. Remember to keep that core tight, facing forward. Try and get full range of motion from corner to corner. Good. 
we're going to switch sides and up, down. We're doing 10 on each side right now. Here's the last one, 10. Very good. Bicep curl, shoulder press. We're gonna do 10. There's one, and two, and three. Remember we're controlling the whole time. Four, don't let gravity pull those dumbbells down. Five. Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, good job, we're going to do bent over fly, so remember we're hinging at the hip, have that string here pulling you forward and down, we're not rotating our back, so pulling down, bent over fly, flying up, good, and down. Two, squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, four, five, keep a slight bend in the elbow. Six, seven, keep your upper body still. Nine, and ten. Ready to lean back in the chair for your chest press. Leaning back, elbows, straight line from your head to your knees. One, Two, really push and squeeze at the top. Eight, two more. And ten, good. Back to bent over, bent over row. So we're hinging at the hip, down, dumbbells to your side, elbows straight back, and squeezing the shoulder blades. Two. Three, squeeze and pause. Four, pause just for that beat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. Come up, we're gonna do lateral raise. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. And our overhead tricep extension. Dumbbells come together, elbows in, doing ten. One, two, three, four. Good, we're almost done. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. Yay! So you did it, and um, if that felt a little bit easy for you, then definitely move up in weight. No problems there. Um, if it was too hard for you, maybe go down in weight. If you were already using one pound dumbbells, don't use dumbbells. Just use nothing. Make a fist, but activate your muscles. Don't just go through the movements. Really pull and push. Pull and push with each movement. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.